We're not against rap. We're not against rappers. But we are against those. Some fly rum and felines rapping on the track. Better yet, grab a gat, cause we hot like Enzo. Doors closed, windows up, cause that's the way we like to ride. Windy City hitting. Check mic 1212. We live, baby. Hey Chicago, and welcome back to Speak Your Mind Radio. I'm your hostess with the mostess, Queen Star, aka Miss Hip Hop. And today I want to talk about the boy, J. Cole. Yeah, and we ain't talked about J. Cole since he uh, dropped off the off season, his sixth studio album, which by the way, y'all, it went number one on the Billboard chart 200s. Yes. And it came out in on May 14th of this year and it went number one in May. So that is bananas right there. So happy to hear that. Now, as you know, uh, Drake, he dropped uh, Pipe Down uh, featuring J. Cole two days ago, right? Off the CLB album. And the J. Cole verse, he turned into a surprise video called Heaven's EP. And that video dropped yesterday, just just a day ago, okay. And it's the same verse as it is as 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 a, on um, pipe down, you know. So J Cole has had a big year already with going number one with his sixth studio album, um, him joining the Rwanda Patriots, that's the African uh, basketball team, and that's so dope. So I want to talk about a little bit of the story behind the verse um heaven's ep okay and why i felt like it was so important now j cole he was an all-star player at his high school in north carolina okay and he would have been a shoot-in fit for the college of his choice but he ended up dropping out before he even started to pursue music talk about hoop dreams right everything we do comes back full circle all right, <laughs> let's get back into this video he dropped, Heaven's EP. Now, I find it funny because the video was actually directed by Simon Chaslow. And Simon Chaslow is the director of Jimmy Fallon's The Tonight Show in Las Vegas. And the video shows um, J. Cole on a trip to Las Vegas. So I think that's really cool and everything like that. So yeah, um, I also want to mention that J. Cole, a part of his big year, he will be going on tour starting September 24th. It's called the Off Season Tour, and that's kicking off in Miami, baby, all the way through November. So that's going to be dope. I guarantee you. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about the verse, you know? Let's talk about everything. All right, so since I gave you a little bit of background about J. Cole and things coming back full circle, he talks about that in the song, actually. So like the line everybody's probably talking about, um, he says, the second time I got cut from junior varsity fighting back tears, I promised to switch up gears and said to myself, whatever you do, you won't do it partially. Okay. And I feel like he was saying that, like I said, things come back full circle because him not you know, pursuing basketball totally, he jumped from ball to music. So he he told himself from that point on, we ain't doing nothing else partially. We either all in or we all out. So that's success right there. Speaking of success, he has a line in the song where he says, success is the effort. So if a nigga tried his hardest, I'm at peace knowing that God ain't deal it in his group of cards for me. And I think that's hence the title, Heaven's EP, you know, because you never know what the universe holds for you. You never know what God has and plans for you. You think it's one thing, but it's another. It's probably something that you didn't, you started, but you didn't finish. So think of it that way. That's how funny the universe works. You think 
you're supposed to be doing in this area and then you find out oh wait i'm supposed to be right here but you come back to it again so that's what's going on so he's doing both music and playing in an all-star basketball team in rwanda on the rwanda patriots i think that's dope you know okay so now um j cole also talks about you know being compared to other popular artists such as kendrick lamar and of course you know um (laughs) drake and he takes it as a compliment however He states that he still wants to be known as him at the end of the day. And I can understand that. Plus him and Drake have like some things in common. Like he stated in his song that he'll never uh, showcase his kids out to the public eye for, you know, biz or attention. Him and Drake don't do that. You know, uh, Drake, you know, tried to keep Adonis under wrap as much as possible. But, you know, as you see things happen or whatever, things leak out. So that's what him and Drake have in common. So uh, much respect to that. Not pimping your family out for attention. (laughs) He's pissing in the celebrity tea at this point. That's what he's doing. Okay. um, (laughs) He also talks about such, um, he, he, he talks with such passion, like throughout the entire song, even his rhymes showcase that he even rhymed the way he said, um, too much hunger. It's no wonder niggas can't keep up. You feel me? Uh, so saying yes to a feature just means I'm about to eat lunch, bitch. <laughs> I love that line because, uh, that, like I said, J. Cole ain't bagging down from any offers at this point. Like I said, he had uh, an on season when he didn't do any features at all. And then he started, he, he thought to himself, well, I don't want to, you know, regret not doing no features. Woo, woo, woo. So he went off that in 2018 and started doing features again. And now he doing features and ball. So yeah. So he even states that uh, his current position in life, he's writing from a stress-free state of mind, uh, some sitting somewhere in the tropics. You feel me? That's how laid back the song is. And that's how important the song is tying into who J. Cole is, because he talks he always talks about in his songs uh, going from rags to riches. And he just wondered if all the money is diluting from where he really started. And he talks about that in the song, too. And I just think it's awesome. So now the question remains, uh, why did he make a video from the entire verse? (laughs) I would have, too, because, like I said, a lot of people didn't even know that aspect of J. Cole, that he started playing ball first before he even pursued music, you know, and then it got switched up. And either way, he succeeded because he's succeeding in both areas now. J. Cole is an inspiration. I said that in my album review, uh, The Off Season, he's just inspiring. Like he just, I don't know, he just makes you want to keep going and shooting shots and uh free throws and you know getting the goals and catching all the shots and in, in, in life period you know so shout out to j cole um i can't wait to talk to you i, I haven't interviewed j cole yet but you know it's in the stars for sure i love you guys so much and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel speak your mind radio like i said um some new and interesting things are about to occur you know, and we're going to have a good time talking to these celebrities and whatnot. And just stay tuned for some great stuff. All right. Peace.